hi guys welcome to another video hope you're all keeping well now for this video i'm going to show you all the dvds and blu-ray titles that i picked up during the month of uh, september and the first week or so of october uh, i've just got a couple of dvds and uh, most of them are blu-rays and some box sets so without further ado guys let's just just get straight into it so i'm going to show you the dvds first okay so the first one i'm going to show you oh man oh god what an experience this movie was guys um, most of you no doubt will never have heard of it. Um, oh my god, it was more—it was like it was more like watching a bloody sex film than a bloody horror movie. Than a horror movie. Oh god, what an insane movie! Black Devil Doll, guys. Oh god, Chucky the Saints. Oh my god. Oh yeah, it's um, you've got to be a really, have, a, have a strong stomach and a very broad mind, guys, to watch this movie. Um, as I say, more sex in it than anything, you know. Um, I'll just read you a bit of the synopsis here. Um, I can't read you out some of the words. It's a little bit uh, <coughs> naughty. The meanest, nastiest, dirtiest, raunchiest, ex ass kickingest Afro American demon puppets in the most con controversial exploitation film of the century. Um, yeah, as basically about this uh, uh, black guy, like he's a, he's a serial killer, uh, and when he when he when he when he dies, a spirit goes into this uh, black black devil doll, and he wreaks havoc. You know, he, he attacks all young girls, and that you know, and he uh, but rape, basically rapes them and then kills them. But oh, it's very very naughty movie. This guy, this should have been this should have been more under an, uh, an adult movie banner than a horror movie banner. It's absolutely insane movie. Don't think I'll be watching it again because, uh, as I say, like it there, there wasn't that it's pretty gory, like with the kills, but there was much more like uh, <coughs> very bit explicit scenes in it. Yeah, so we'll just leave it there. So there you go, guys. That is the Black Devil doll. Um, this is actually from the uh, Amazon German website. Absolutely crazy movie and a crazy puppet to boost. Next up is a uh, now. This is a uh, I took a chance on this one. This is a, a detective TV series. Although it has got a horror star on it, me uh, you know. The king of horror, as far as I'm concerned, made in the early 50s. It's Boris Karloff in 26 episode series of Colonel March of Scotland Yard. Now, I've watched a few of these episodes, guys, and I haven't been very impressed, you know. Very, very bored and that, you know. I thought Boris Karloff was wasted in these, you know. Yeah, so as I say, like, it's basically like a kind... Well, there's elements of the supernatural in it, a little bit of horror. It's basically, um, he's in charge of, like, cases where other, other detective agencies can't solve, you know. A bit like the X-Files, really. But, yeah, there's even an appearance by Christopher Lee in one of them. Yeah, so Colonel March of Scotland Yard, so I don't think I'll be keeping that one. Next up is it. Now, this is a... Um, this is quite an old one, guys. I'm really getting to me Fu Manchu films at the moment. I've got a couple of the books as well. This is uh, one of the uh, Fu Manchu series um, from um, 1940. There's 15 chapters actually in it. That is the drums of Fu Manchu. There you go. Yeah, it's okay. I've just started watching a couple of the episodes, like, but nothing great. And this one, this is one... Uh, this is one I took a chance on when I was in um, Asda a couple of weeks ago. Um, Campton Manor. Not very good, guys. Quite boring, actually. So, um, yeah. I don't think I'll be giving this a watch. Another watch. That is um, Campton, Campton Manor. Next up is... Uh, this is another one I took a chance on as well. Um, this is on the, um, the Black House label. It's from um, 1964... And that is a movie called Dr. Jekyll's Mistress. Very, very disappointing, guys. Quite boring, actually. So there you go, guys. That is um, Dr. Jekyll's Mistress. Ah, now this one's an absolute cracker. I've actually done a review of this already, so I won't say too much about it. It's um, from, the, um, the, uh, from 1963. Um, fantastic movie. Stars Brian Holiday as a very um, evil um, hypnotist, ventriloquist ventriloquist and that is a uh, devil doll very uh, what i liked about this movie guys it wasn't just the ordinary kill doll on the rampage movie um, it had a lot of layers to it you know particularly that character that um the hypnotist like who's a right evil b he was you know yeah fantastic movie if you like your if you like if you like your creepy ventriloquist movies guys and um, i'd certainly recommend this one to add to your collection there you go that is devil doll fantastic movie Next up is another Fu Manchu um, series. This is a little bit later, actually. This is from uh, 1956. Um, not all that many episodes in it, guys, really. They were okay. Not to write home, not to write home about. That's The Adventures of Fu Manchu. 
Love that cover, guys. And there's some stills from the back. It doesn't do a bad job, this guy playing through Manchu, but don't think I'll be uh, going back to it, guys. Okay, then, guys, that's the DVDs they dispensed with. Now, I'm going to show you the Blu-rays now. Two here actually uh, came just this morning, actually. So the first one is the new Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes movie. I haven't watched any of the trailers and I haven't watched any reviews. I'm just going into this blind and that, yeah. So um, another great movie to add to me, Planet of the Apes. Uh, well, it looks great anyway. Um, my Planet of the Apes collection. Nice slip cover as well. So that is the um, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. Next up was the other one that came as well. Now, uh, this is this is a classic from 1968. Um, this is the movie that started all the zombie movies, guys. Yeah, absolute classic. Um, Night of the Living Dead. A Criterion label. And I'm pleased to say it's got a better uh, better uh, cover this uh, this time. Because the last time I had this movie, the Criterion one, it had that awful cardboard cover. It was really awkward. Now, this is, this is a nice edition. It's got the proper Blu-ray case. So I'm looking forward to revisiting this one. You get the 4K and the Blu-ray, so there you go. Classic, Night of the Living Dead. Now, next up, this is another beautiful edition, guys. Um, one of my all-time favourite Stephen King movies. Um, I couldn't resist this. Um, I've had this movie a couple of times on different formats, but when I, when I saw this gorgeous edition, I just had to have it. That's Pet Cemetery, 4K and Blu-ray. Look, look, that's the best cover I've ever seen, guys, of Pet Cemetery. So I'm really looking forward to really visiting this one. I love the novel as well. Fantastic story about the uh, the Mac Indian Indian burial ground and that you know and church the cat coming back. Well, of course, if you've seen the movie, uh, you know you know about the baby as well coming back. Gage, great movie. So I had to have this in my collection. Lovely, lovely cover. That's Pet Cemetery. And another one here, another old, old favourite of mine, starring Joan Collins. Um, this is from 1977. And if you like your creature feature movies, um, guys, you haven't got this one. You might like to check this one out. That is the Empire of the Ants. Starring Joan Collins. Great movie. Seen it a few times. And I've always wanted it on, on Blu-ray for my collection. So there you go, guys. Got a nice slip cover as well, guys. There you go. So that is the Empire Empire of the Ants. Next up is another um, gorgeous box set. Now, I did. I, I know I did say in previous videos that I, I watched... I bought all these individually. And on first watch, I wasn't too keen on them. But I, I am I am of the mindset that I'm willing to give a, a series or a, a movie another go. Just in case I like, like it the second time around. And when I saw this reduced and that, you know, I thought to myself, I've got to pick this up. That's season one to four of Creepshow. But I love season four. So that's included in as well. Yeah, so there you go, guys. On second watch, I might have a different term. My opinion might be coloured. Lovely box sets. I couldn't resist it, especially being reduced and that, you know. So there you go, guys. That's Creep Show, the complete series. Next up is it. Now, this is another favourite uh, Stephen King story of mine. It stars Max von Sydow, who played Father Medan in The Exorcist. A uh, fantastic actor. He, always, he, always, he also played Jesus in The Greatest Story, I've told. He's been in many movies. Also stars Ed Harris and Bonnie Badella. That's Needful Things. Fantastic, yeah. So I'm looking forward to uh, revisiting this one. Great movie. Never seen it on Blu-ray. There he is. Max von Sydow is the Sinister Shopkeeper. Leyland Gorns. So there you go, guys. That is Needful Things on Blu-ray. Next up, well, I, oh, I had to get this. I just had to get it. Um, I did I did have my eye on the big uh, uh, box sets that came out. I know, I know some YouTubers have bought it. But I thought to myself, well, I don't really want the book with the script and that, you know, and... Um, the R cards and that, so I just settled for because it's a bit expensive and that. So I just settled for the standard uh, Blu-ray of the Hitcher, one of the greatest uh, horror thriller movies I've ever seen. Um, first rented it out in late in the late eighties on VHS. The only time I've ever saw it, and it stayed in my mind. Rock or how it is fantastic in a you know in the in the you no know, the chief role as the you know the main villain rider. You know, uh, so very appropriate name, isn't it, for the Hitcher? So I'm looking forward to revisiting this one, guys. Great special features on that is. The Hitcher. Next up is... Oh, my God. This was boring, boring, boring. What a capital B. It was all oh, cr absolute crap um, on the um, 88 Films label. Lovely slipcover. Again, a sad case of the, um, you know, the cover... You know, the the, uh, the, the, the the film not being... Not living up to the aesthetics of the cover. That is the... Oh, absolutely dire... Crawl Space, starring Klaus Kinski. This was a major ball fest. 
I don't know how I managed to stay awake, guys, watching this load of rubbish. It was absolutely boring. So this is going straight on eBay. So there you go, guys. That is the Dire Crawl Space. Now, this is another one. This is the one I got the same time, actually, ordered with Crawl Space. I haven't, I haven't seen this one at all, actually. Um, it stars Judy Geeson and um, in, in Banning, I think it is, yeah. Um, and that is um, a movie called uh, Doom Watch from... Um, 1972 Doom watch so I'm looking forward to uh, checking this one out so there you go I love, I love the um, the way AC films are packaging these releases guys you know the reversible artwork and that you know so I'm really looking forward to checking out Doom watch next up is Anna this is a lovely box set here uh, two movies on here uh, I absolutely love you know, I've watched them on DVD and um, I was made up when I heard they were coming out in Blu-ray in this edition. Um, but I haven't seen the third movie, Crucible. Of, I haven't seen the third movie, Penny Gold, but I have seen Craze and I've seen Crucible of Terror. That's the box set of Crew of Britannia. Fantastic artwork there, guys. Nice, thick, sturdy box. So, nice booklets as well about the movies. There you go, guys. Crew of Britannia. And, um... Yeah, they're just basically the slip cover as well there uh, and um yeah it's the same artwork guys yeah so i'm looking forward to uh checking the, those out uh i especially love craze with jack palance yeah oh yeah really if you like your movies like that that uh, you know all about creepy idols and that and sacrifices i guarantee you'll, you'll get a blast if you haven't seen craze so there you go guys that is the three movie box set of um cruel britannia and another uh, equally uh, cool box set is, um, as I said before, I was getting into my Fu Manchu movies. I'm, I've been looking for this for ages, you know, and I was very lucky actually to get um, a nice copy on eBay. Uh, and that is the complete Fu Manchu cycle starring Christopher Lee. Um, lovely box set from Indicator. Let's look at that, guys. Yeah, if you're a Fu Manchu fan, you've got to get out this for your collection. All the movies are here. Um, the Face of Fu Manchu, The Brides of Fu Manchu, The Vengeance of Fu Manchu, The Castle of Fu Manchu, and The Blood of Fu Manchu. I must admit, my favourite one is the very first one, The Face of Fu Manchu. But having said that, um, I do like all the Fu Manchu movies. And, and, and unlike the ones I just showed you, these are in glorious colour. So there you go, guys. And there's all the movies there. This will look fantastic on the shelf. Lovely box set by Indicator. That is the Fu Manchu cycle. Next up is... Um, Part three of another a uh, much a uh, much loved horror series of mine, the Reanimator, starring Jeffrey Coombs. This is the third one. Um, I've seen this a few times actually, but I just wanted to get the uh, Blu-ray to add it to my collection. That is Beyond Reanimator. That's the one where he's in jail, up to his old tricks in jail. Sorry about the glare, guys. It's the ball. So there you go, guys. That is um, that is um, Beyond Reanimator. Great cover there. Another beautiful uh, Seth from Arrow here. Another one of my favourite movies starring uh, Jodie Foster and uh, Anthony Hopkins. Lovely addition this. Arrow really knocking, knocking out of the park lately with these um, releases. That is the uh, deluxe edition of The Silence of the Lambs. Just look at that, guys. Lovely, lovely packaging there. Just look at that. Piles and piles of special features on, it, on the back as well, guys. Oh, what more could you ask for from The Silence of the Lambs? This is much better than that crappy criterion edition i've got there the only reason i'm keeping that is is that contains um commentary from um anthony hopkins and jody foster it's not actually on this they should have included that on this but what can you do so there you go guys i'm very pleased to add this to the collection and i will as i say i have done a fantastic job on this that is the science of the lambs deluxe edition next up is another fu manchu movie oh this was fantastic this um i've mentioned this before um fantastic uh, movie Boris Carl, the only the only time he ever played Fu Manchu, that is the mask of Fu Manchu. This is a movie that's way ahead of its time, guys, in terms of torture, torture devices and that. You know, Boris Karloff was one mean swine in it, playing Dr. Fu Manchu. Yeah, oh, if you love Boris Karloff and you love Fu Manchu and you haven't seen this one, I highly recommend, I recommend that you get a big collection. The picture quality is lovely and Boris Karloff, it does a fantastic job playing Dr. Fu Manchu. So there you go, guys. This is from 1932. And that is The Mask of Fu Manchu. Next up is... This is a movie I've actually had before um, a couple of years ago. But I wanted to get, I wanted to get the Blu-ray for my collection. You know, especially if it's got a nice slipcover. Uh, that's Lu Lucio Fulci's The Psychic. Got this quite cheap, actually, in Birkenhead for the tenner. 
lovely slip cover and you've got the original artwork as well guys there you go fantastic movie starring um jennifer o'neill as the psychic yeah so there you go guys that is uh, lucio fulci's the psychic another great deluxe edition by uh, 88 films a uh, stars two of me all-time famous horror icons christopher lee and boss karloff if that's the case of the crimson altar as i say they're really doing it just like arrow they're really knocking knocking it out of the park guys 88 films with these um oh fabulous releases and this is a great movie this very look very look crafty and very reminiscent of the devil rides out those kind of movies even got barbara steel in it as well um as a sinister witch from years ago and you've got the reversible artwork as well, guys. You can't go wrong with Karloff and Christopher Lee. So there you go, guys. That is the fantastic um, The Curse of the Crimson Altar. Next one up is it. Now, I didn't really like this one, guys, at all. Um, didn't like it. So this is going to be going to be thrown on eBay. Um, this is from 1969. Um, it stars um, Anthony Aisley uh, and John Carradine. And uh, yeah, very disappointing. Don't be deceived by the cover like I was. That is the mummy and the case of the jackals. Oh my God, was this slow. Yeah, another sad case of the, the movie not, not living up to the aesthetics of the, the prissy cover. Yeah, so yeah, I didn't like it, guys, at all. So yeah, it's sad. I, I always get I know, frustrated like when, you know, you get a lovely cover like that. And the bloody movie, the, the story's crap, you know. So, yes, yeah, so I'll be chucking this on eBay. So, there you go, guys. That is The uh, the Mummy and the Curse of the Jackals. A total washout it was. And another washout is, now, surprise, actually, because this um, <coughs> stars one of my favourite uh, British uh, horror actors, horror actresses, Martine Beswick, from uh, Dr. Jekyll and Sister Hyde. Uh, this is a movie from uh, 1974. And it, it promises so much, but the, it, unfortunately, it delivered so little. It's a kind of a home invasion movie, and that's a movie called Seizure. Didn't like it, guys. It was slow. The story was weak. But uh, well, uh, Martin Beswick look, did look quite luscious, as she always does in her movies and that, you know. That was the only that was the best part of it, like, but the story left a lot to be desired. So there you go, guys. That is Seizure. And last but by no means least, I've uh, got a movie here with um, Veronica Lake, uh, the famous uh, American blonde actress of the 40s, was famous for uh, a blonde there hanging over, over one eye. I've got a couple of non-horror non movies there, guys. I'll show you in a minute to end the video. That is I Married a Witch. This is something along the lines of Bewitched. A lot of people say this, this inspired the series, Bewitched with Elizabeth Montgomery, basically about this guy. <laughs> it's all in the title, He Married a Witch. So that's, I'm looking forward to checking this one out. On the Criterion label. Okay then guys, that's, pro that's all my horrors out the way. I'll just show you these couple of non-horror ones I picked up. Um, starring Veronica Lake. Um, so you've got... Don't know too much about these movie guys. They're, they're uh, first time watchers for me. Uh, this one for hire. Veronica Lake. Kind of a film noir. Uh, the Glass Key. Glass Key. And finally... Um, she stars with Alan Ladd in the Blue Dahlia. So I'm, look, I'm looking forward to checking out the uh, Veronica Lake hat trick there. Okay then, guys, that that that's about that about wines this pick up say video um, up for another month. Have you seen any of these movies? What did you think of them? Let me know in the comments down below. Let's get um, a good discussion going and that you know. So, uh, but yeah, there's quite a few bad ones there, guys. As I say, you know. But this is the chance you take, isn't it, guys? When you're um, you know, you're blind by and that, you know. Okay then, guys, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Usual, you know, if you like it, uh, please be to share, subscribe, comment. And all, go, all going well, I shall be back again very, very soon with um, another uh, video. CTFN.